So the Misha brand recently uh, revamped their Time Revolution Serum. Uh, their original version was the uh, Barbit, I guess I'll say. And the new version is the ProBio. So they've done a few revisions of it. And every few years they kind of reformulate it, use new science and new ingredients to do what they consider making it better. However, having extensively tried both of these now, I have a lot of thoughts on it. So I decided to kind of do a comparison. I couldn't really find any other uh, comparisons out there before I picked up the new one. I did a little bit of research and there's not a ton of information out there about the new one, but I thought I would do this little comparison to help you decide if you should try the new version out or still get the original uh, version while you can. So let me do a little bit of these uh, comparisons and a lot of them, the packaging is similar and there are some similar ingredients. So, um, so on my first criteria, which is packaging, obviously I gave them a tie. The packaging is nearly identical. Although I like the purple bottle better because I like purple. Although silver is nice too. So I don't know. Give it a little bit of a tie on that. And in terms of denatured alcohol, uh, both of these are also free from denatured or drying types of alcohol. So um, that is not an issue for me as well. So my third criteria is fragrance. And this is the first uh, criteria where they kind of differ dramatically. So the new formula, the uh, ProBio, has a much more noticeable floral scent to it, which is due to some of the fragrance ingredients they included, such as lavender, uh, orange peel oil, sandalwood oil, geranium oil, bergamot oil. Uh, the original formula, the Borbit, has a very, very light scent, uh, which almost smells like a bit of the ferment which it contains. So, And then this one doesn't have any citrus oils or phototoxic fragrance ingredients uh, like the ProBio contains. So for the first uh, real criteria, the original version got the point significantly. Um, in terms of manufacturing location, these are both uh, manufactured in Korea, so no issues with that. It's a tie there again. Ease of use. So both of these are easy to apply. Uh, you want to use these after cleansing and toning skin. So let me do a little uh, swatch kind of on that hand. So... The uh, Borbit uh, has a bit of a texture. It takes a little bit longer to absorb. So you can see that it does take longer to absorb into skin. And the ProBio has a little bit of a more gel type texture to it than the original version does. And this one, for me, I noticed it just absorbed into skin a lot quicker, which makes your routine a little bit shorter. So it has more of a liquidy gel texture to it, which I personally found uh, more to my liking than the original formula. So I found that the ProBio is a little bit easier to use, especially if you layer a lot and want a quicker routine. And the Borbit just seems to take longer to fully absorb. So for ease of use, I gave the ProBio the point in this case. So as of right now, they are both tied. Beneficial ingredients antioxidants, beneficial ingredients. So the original Borbit formula contains many more beneficial ingredients. It also has a much longer ingredient list, although the ProBio formula contains more of the ferment. And in this one, water isn't in the ingredient list at all. It starts out with the ferment. So if you're a huge fan of ferments and things like that, uh, the ProBio might be more to your liking for that. Uh, the ProBio also contains uh, ceramide, which is good to see. However, in the new formula, they took out many of the stars that the original product had, such as retinol, vitamin C, and CoQ10. So overall, in my opinion, uh, the Borabit formula has a much more robust ingredient list. Uh, it has a total of 97 ingredients, while the ProBio formula has 52, which is almost half. So although if you have very sensitive skin... The ProBio having a shorter ingredient list theoretically is less likely that you could have an issue with one of those ingredients. But then again, it's got all of the uh, fragrance in there. So overall, I gave this point to the uh, Borabit formula. So this one's got two and this one has one point. Um, so let's see. Cruelty-free. They're both obviously cruelty-free. They're the same brand. 
performance. So personally, in my opinion, the original version is more hydrating. It keeps skin feeling hydrated longer, which is probably why it doesn't absorb as quickly. Um, and then if you have like to layer a lot of products, obviously that ease of use is going to be an issue. But in terms of the performance, I just found that this one performs better. And with the retinol vitamin C and CoQ10, it gives my skin more of a brightening effect, especially after you've been using it for a longer term of time. It definitely gives your skin more of a boost. After just using the ProBio, it just seems to add into my routine okay, but I didn't notice any of the visual benefits like vitamin C, no brightening ingredients are in there, such as they are in the uh, Barbit. I just noticed much more in terms of wrinkles, fine lines, brightness. This one just works much better and it works good in like a daytime routine. So if you use this and then use a sunblock over it, it does great because it's got some of those good vitamin C, CoQ10, things like that. So in terms of performance, I definitely liked the uh, Borbit formula much better and the ProBio in terms of performance, it was a little bit lackluster. So, okay, price. So that's gonna be another tie. It's $30, right around $30, depending on where you purchase it. So uh, it's a tie because they're gonna be the same. And then in terms of the it factor, which is the decided deciding factor because they're both uh, pretty close. No, the, you know what, the Borbit has three and the ProBio has two. So it's still the deciding uh, factor. So the original Borbit is a HG, holy grail for many. When it came out, it's such a good formula. It's got so many beneficial ingredients that really help firm the skin, soften lines, hydrate and brighten skin. Uh, and the new version took out so many of those star ingredients and also has so much more fragrance in there uh, than the other version. It was kind of a disappointment, although this the uh, ProBio version doesn't have as many uh, preservatives. So if you have issues or allergies to preservatives, perhaps this one might be the way to go. But then if you have a lot of allergies with preservatives, I'm going to assume you might have issues with a lot of the fragrance ingredients that they included as well. So, um, I don't know. I gave this to the Borbit just because it's holy grail for many. I fell in love with it when I picked it up for the first time. And the Pro Bio, in my opinion, was kind of a letdown. So, in my opinion, I gave the, the uh, Versus, I gave the winning point to the uh, other formula. But in my opinion, both of these products can exist in the same world because I don't necessarily think the same person that's going to buy the previous version is the same customer that's going to buy the ProBio. Uh, less preservatives, a little bit more fragrance, but less ingredients. I kind of think these are two different customers shopping for two totally different things. And these products, although they're packaged alike, made by the same brand, yada, 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 same price, everything else. It's just a totally different product in and of itself using, taking out a lot of the active ingredients and retinol and vitamin C, but adding more fragrance, but adding also more of the ferment and things like that. It's just two totally different customers in my opinion. So um, I know they meant with the ProBio to replace this, but I'm hoping that perhaps they'll keep them both around because they can both exist in the same marketplace because it's d different customers. Or perhaps using the the uh, original version of your daytime routine and then using this one in your nighttime routine. That's kind of how I've been using them after I tried them separately. I've kind of been using them in different routines. Because in my opinion, the ProBio works better at night. And the uh, original version works better during the daytime because it's got vitamin C and some good antioxidants that help fight off environmental stressors. So, I don't know. It was kind of interesting. I worked on this for quite a while and I've... I've, I like this one better, but I think it's two totally different customers that they're really going for. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I helped you make a decision or not. But yeah, I I was kind of confused overall by the new version because it just doesn't seem like the same product really. But I don't know. Anyway, hopefully I helped you at some point. I don't know. I'm still kind of confused by the uh, change in and of itself but anyway so i'm interested if you guys have tried both of these or one of these and what your thoughts are i know the original's uh holy grail for so many so i 
I'm happy it's still available. I will not be happy if it goes off the market. So I'm going to have to pick up a backup, a couple backups of it. So uh, anyway, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, check out nobsb.com in the Amazon link below. And thank you guys so much.